good day everyone we're going to work today on this rabbit kind of like a eggs rabbit or vase whatever that is i have no idea but if you remember i did this video unboxing from eco by and i said that i'm a little bit confused about colors in here the beautiful turquoise colors but i don't see those colors in a package with the diamonds so the colors kind of a little bit different so i want to work on it today but first before we start work on i want to do washi tape around so let me do that quickly with you together and see what we will have with this design also usually if i do see like in here lots of dark background which is going to be black color and usually i do background by myself and work with you with bright and cheery colors today i want to do different i actually want to work with you on uh, black colors for the background and we are going to use multiplacer i already reload my pen with the fresh wax and we'll see what's gonna happen in here easter about the corner already so fast this year very early kind of so I will create this kind of Easter looking design, right? Because of the bunny. And see how this is going to look pretty or not. I want us first to create this design and post like right on the Easter day. But you know what? Probably better idea if we create it before. So maybe if you will like it, you will still have a chance to order, even if it will be late. For this year to finish, but at least could be good stay in the stash for next year if you like design. But I'm a little bit confused and question this design. That is why I want to start on it. I'm a little bit questioning colors. Looks pretty as it is. Looks very beautiful on a website as a uh, you know, thumbnail. But I'm not convinced that this is going to look good. We'll see. So we will work today with dark, dark with black diamonds and then of course, after the recording video, I will finish all black diamonds by myself. So we'll work as much as we can do, like in half an hour, whatever. And then next time, I will come back to you and we will work with something maybe brighter colors. We'll see how they will work. Let's just get one day at a time. All right, wash day done so this is like a good chunk to kind of start in here and let me bring you close to me so I'm going to readjust my camera at the same time just a minute maybe even put this canvas a little bit under my hold on I'm already pointing on myself in here okay maybe like that not so close not so far just like that and I'm going to put my cell phone on this squeaky sheet so it doesn't I can see the glitter um, play I don't know if I can wiggle you would see glitter bits or not 
I can see through the camera, but maybe on the computer you will see very glittery nice. Alright, so I have some black diamonds. my glasses oh okay I didn't put good in here washi tape not so good okay doesn't matter so I'm going to use a blue tack I like to use a blue tack so all right maybe even more up so I have a room in here for my tray and we will start I think from the corner in here and I will go from myself will walk away first usually I create my first line And that's how usually I work when I work by myself off the camera for the sake of quick finish. I use this multiplacer. That's why when I do my unboxing video and if I see this multiplacer, that's why I say it's my favorite because four diamonds to me is just like perfect placement. I like three as well, but I find out for myself that this four placer actually plays very nice and even doesn't have, I think, those gaps. By the way, these diamonds, I have like a big jar leftovers from my other uh, canvases, so I did not open yet black diamonds from this canvas, but they, I looked, they are the same, so maybe, I, I don't know, I might well need it more because I don't think it's going to be enough in here, but for now, I just like to use it up first what I have available not to open too much new again the only thing when I work with multiplacer like if you work with multiplacer you really have to kind of look later if you need to strain them a little bit sometimes they go like after level could be crooked lines so that's why we have straightener okay sometimes doesn't stick four diamonds because the fresh wax so sometimes it's just pushing oh. see now again okay what's going on hold on let me check let me check my pen doesn't make it stick properly. I might have to reload it one more time. See, I'm trying right now, like, my main goal right now to place my lines uh, vertical. Well, because this is top of the canvas, so I'm working vertical. 
which is kind of horizontal towards me right now but that's what I want this this lines you will see vertical when you flip your canvas important to see this line straight but sometimes with the multiplacer lines this way could be um, a little bit crooked and later on we probably will see a little bit more so that is why important later to use a little straightener to fix it. well I hope this is not very boring for you to watch placement of the black diamonds these diamonds are actually very like nice and glazed Kind of windy outside. We'll see if my husband is right. He say on Wednesday it's supposed to be 20 degrees Celsius. So we'll see. We'll see. I say, well, then I can go in a backyard something because after that, you know, it'll be 20 at daytime and minus five at night. How that match? How we doing so far? How we doing so far? Not bad. I think not bad. See, very often just three diamonds always stick, not four. What is going on with this wax? Not enough wax, maybe. Because I just like once pushed through the Wax. This blue tack is kind of hard to get the inside of the pen. Hard material. Usually, for Easter, I bake Ukrainian special bread. Pasca, I call. I don't know if I will do this this year probably not unless I will change my mind later I don't know Okay, let me put a little bit more diamonds. I should get actually my bigger tray for this big background. I might will grab a later on my own. When I will do by myself, I will grab a bigger tray so I can create a whole bunch of lines. Oh, okay, I think we're still gonna be in camera to get a little bit more further in here. I wonder if I my hands closing. Let me check. The camera playing lights a little bit. I can see the but 
If you want to be close to me, that's what I have to do. Now, a couple singles. I don't know why they always keep in a, this W sign, I mean W letter always for the black. Why they can make like a little tiny black dots for the symbol. So it will be easy to cover. But this one actually cover a nice, I see. I don't see any little tails is coming out. So it's actually fit nice, this diamonds. Maybe just like a letters doesn't. Sometimes they print a little bit in a bigger symbol. This seems like it's covering okay. For now, let me move a little bit. Okay, let me fix it. Just keep sticking only three diamonds instead of four. Let me put a little bit more, pinch more wax into the pan. When I get like too much, then I can like a press it hard and then just like with my nails, kind of cut sides because this wax is really hard to kind of put in a pen or like hard consistency but I like that I can work with it for a long time so it's kind of like that let's see if it gets better or not because it's annoying when I try to pick all four diamonds every time and it's getting like three two maybe I just don't push it too hard on my pen usually I work like very light handed on my diamonds Last night, uh, it was Sunday for me, and I'm just like, hmm, I can't remember what kind of video will play on Monday. Something was suspicious to me. So I get up, look in my channel, and I was like, wow, I don't have any video posted on a Monday. So I get up so quickly, good thing I had one video just a sitting in drafts because I didn't know for which day I should post. So thank goodness I had some extra video. So that's why you were watching the unboxing video on Monday, which I think is very, very beautiful diamond painting up there. So if you did not see the video, please check it out very nice I have in here with me see three diamond stick again maybe I'm just not 
push it on one side too much. Uh, I have in here my custom diamond painting daisy sitting already under my table for one week and I did not touch it because I was cross stitching yes I was cross stitching a lot off the camera uh, European town because I got this goal for myself to finish to the middle of the April and I was working I finished few more colors um, almost my right side of canvas now is completed because I had like a whole bunch of missing symbols up there did not stitch so now it's done feels like I'm probably I probably will have a chance to finish my goal what I put for myself for this frame and I have to say that this frame was stitching way faster than the first one I did and I think next frame will be even more easier by look of uh, the symbols how it plays So let's see, you see how um, kind of this way is not bad, this way I can see the little wiggles, let me lift it up my camera so you can see a little bit, you see that, like not perfection. So now I will take my little tool in here and we will try to do this like right now, this one tool, white one. So usually I will start like from my, like right from the first line to get my first line straight. Okay. Push this one a little bit more. This way. Oh. Put diamonds. I have to be careful. Feels like some diamonds coming out. So this side not too bad, but I'm still going to run it right now. Even just put and push a kind of wiggle to get those diamonds move all at once. We'll see if we can get any better, okay? And now I will get this, my first line from this side. Make sure it's all even and let's see if we can fix those lines. I can see how they actually lines moving. It used to be like I could do I could just like a push like this, but sometimes it's lifting up diamonds, so sometimes from the top just a push kinda and wiggle on both sides could be better. Depends on the diamonds as well. If diamonds are very big and full, sometimes you don't have a a room all the way to the bottom to the glue so you have to kind of be careful not to unstick your diamonds okay is it better or not
Okay, let me let me lift my Okay. Especially when you're doing it for somebody as a gift. Kinda will be nice if those diamonds line up nicely and not too much of the crooked fray. I see a little fluff in here, something, something already. Okay. Okay, now let's lift it up and see if it's any better. You tell me the lines. I think it's straight now. Yeah, I think it's not bad now. Okay. I see my camera already stopped once. Can't believe it's already. Okay. Let's keep going a little bit more. Oh my goodness, birds sitting outside now. I don't know if you can hear it through the camera or not. I used to love this in the springtime. I mean, like a very warm, warm spring. They usually start sitting five o'clock in the morning or even four. Start chirping. And it's so loud that sometimes it's just like, oh, I still want to sleep, but the birds are so loud. And it's actually sitting now. That's the first time I actually hear them. They were just quiet sitting on the wires. Blossoms in here, not even close. No blossom, no leaves. We still have a minus temperature in here. On the daytime it's plus, but at night it's always minus. If I could move somewhere where there is no winter at all, I would not miss it. Like I say, I'm not designed for cold. <laughs> Who designed for cold? Catherine Love Winter. <clears throat> She's a true Canadian. <coughs> well, when I was a kid, I liked winter too. I think all kids like winter, but the more we get older with like ah oh, no our bones need something warmer not as much fun cold anymore who's on my team in here who's my team who like to warm up bones in the sun instead of cold winter I cannot wait to take you back with me to camp and we have to buy new gazebo for outside for the picnic table because if you I don't know did you remember I show um, did I record that no I think I recorded video by just showing you that uh, when they we were eating dinner and Daisy saw the um, squirrel. Hopefully, she's not gonna run in here now from here in this ward. And she ran through the net of the gazebo. She make a big hole. But that gazebo was already two years, I think, of age. So it was fragile by staying, you know, on the rain and heat. We were planning, plus wind damaged a little bit. Uh, few days we have up there like a big stormy weather so it was already damaged but when she ran through the net she did not see the net but she saw the target where she had to catch it Ooh, she went through the net so 
we when we were disassemble our campground we toss in a garbage that tent so now we need a new one the one that we had it was 10 by 10 I think feet so now I'm just saying we need a little bit smaller because with the new trailer the way the doors in the trailer set up a little bit different when we exchange the trailer so now it doesn't fit very like a properly between the big tree that we have up there so we kind of need now a little bit smaller tent maybe like eight by eight just to fit picnic table inside but doesn't have to be lots of room around it because um my hi my husband like to keep uh, also on that picnic table a grill that we making like a pancakes or making a like a mm, awesome cooking some meat for the sandwiches like you know steak to cut in a little strips and fry with onions to make like a sub subs so we need to shop for the tent Our plan is to build new deck this summer or this spring front deck because it's really rotten, it's old already. The paint keep we made mistake paint and it was the stain, but it was stained, I don't know if that was a stain run or we did run. It was like a thick thick one and it's got like a paint and it's chipping up and flake it up in the winter so Sherry's husband my lovely BFFs he will be building a deck together with my husband because we was gonna invite um, somebody else to build our deck but Sherry's husband says no you don't have to pay this kind of money for deck we're gonna build it together the good friends isn't it so they will build new front deck and then we will tear down our deck on the backyard because that one is roof kind of uh, rotten and getting bad on the back was my husband and I we built together and because he afraid of the heights, I was the one who was sitting on the, on the top of the roof of that uh, deck and put shingles down. Oh yeah, I was using a big girl's tools, the nail gun, to attach the roofing material. It was fun, I have to say. So it looks like we have a lots of work for ourselves this summer. Don't know if we will be able to afford to build a new deck on the back or not. Because I really want to have, you know, this she shed like we call it. But it's not gonna be she shed, but just a new shed that it's already pre-built like Canadian Tires or Home Depot's, um, I think Home Depot's not Canadian Tire. Yeah, Home Depot's usually have those pre-built already sheds. You even have like a second story inside that you can shelve and put some stuff up there with a little staircase to the top. So that's what I would love to have to get rid of the old one that we built long time ago. It's already old lots of plan but not always everything is possible to do because Everything has cost lots of money here. Okay, so let's do a little bit more move around. 
Okay, so this is already center of the canvas. See, you already got a good chunk of the background with the help of the multiplacer. Just fight in here with my wax. I have to because sometimes after a while getting fluffy like this, I have to push it back on the inside. Oh, girls, I cannot force myself right now to do my nails. I'm just not in that mood to do nails. So I guess it's a Good idea to give them a little bit of rest. Where are my diamonds? Oh no, I definitely will need to open a whole bunch of new diamonds yet because it's a lot of black color on this canvas. Even I can see in the middle, like where is Bonnie sitting up there. Lots and lots of, hopefully it will look okay. Cause I'm already a little bit, a little bit confused about this canvas. Not sure if I'm going to like it. too early to say now or anything. Okay, let's make it to the center. And that's it. So, all right, I will stop now. And you know what I will do? I will probably work a little bit more, a little bit more further so I can show you actually a little bit more done. I have still lots of time. So that's the patch that we created pretty fast see how it's nice actually shimmering with no light let me turn the light on to see if we can see a little bit of the sparkles a little bit more yeah it's a kind of windy but sunny day so maybe till the time i will be working on this black diamonds right now sun will come out and i can show you uh, how much I done. So right now it's 12 o'clock noon so I'm okay and safe to upload this video for you for Tuesday and I think I will be able to finish even tonight all this black color. I'm hoping today to finish all this black colors because it's it's a lot in here you can see like all inside in here so don't know tons of tons of blacks not sure but so far so far that's what i did all right i will see you in a second and uh, see if i made a, a lot or not at least in one more hour of working by myself a few hours later all black color is done but then look I will show you something. So I started my diamond painting from this side, then I flip, I started from this side, and then in here you can see the different color. That's where I started to place diamonds from this pack. So 
they are a little bit different though you can see this sparkle diamonds this pointy kind of um, they are from crafties and this is diamond also nice they more around instead of this one more kind of like a pointy uh, they more kind of a little bit flat more glazy but not as black as black so from there you can see it's kind of changing and then from here it's already all the same um, color that it came with this pack so they are sparkle nicely on the light as you can see the only thing yeah this patch a little bit because I started from here from here I could mix it maybe maybe when I will pull out a few diamonds to mix it up so it's not harsh line but that's okay it's from me nobody else will see that if I don't point it out so I would say 50% I think I done just by creating this black color so that was kind of pretty fast all right where were I okay so what I was saying uh, I have to kind of stop interruption uh, with the black diamonds placed already I think it's 50% of this canvas done in just a few hours now it's going to be low go a little bit slow because lots of confetti changing color in here but i really 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 interesting to see this part where that turquoise beautiful color it's not in a diamond so we'll see that and uh, i hope you like this video a little bit of progress we did well actually good progress but yeah that's what i say as a reviewer i want to be honest with you and show you the patch that's visible different diamonds but they are beautiful if i can show you close let me actually zoom to the diamonds in here the diamonds from this pack okay how close we can get oh they look nice and even i did not uh, straighten my lines in here yet i just want to finish video so oh, maybe just a minute just a minute i will bring it to to the have to get this better with the light you can see they are nice and shiny if we can look in here on this between these two colors the other diamonds more like a pointy okay hold on how about we turn it off this light will be better or not close to the window or oh, this way kind of better you see how these diamonds, I don't know if it's visible for you, they are more, more kind of pointy and they are from crafties. And this one is more round, but they are also very good quality diamonds, but not as black as black. As you can see, they more look kind of like a grayish black. It is 310. It is 310 here. It is 310. Looks nice and dark. If you don't see the other part but in here yeah you can see the difference in the colors so that's all I wanted to tell you in this video so obviously now I have to speed it up and create this canvas to finish I think uh, well I'm looking forward how this is going to look like I'm really intrigued to see it thank you for staying with me today for this diamond painting day with me and I will see you tomorrow